Hi students, in this session, let me take voltage and current again. Relax all of you, chill, relax. Okay, so means we should not rush into the things, not required. Gate exam is very simple exam, yes exam is very simple exam. Whatever we learned previously in our previous session, after that lecture only you have to continue this lecture. Okay, directly if you take this lecture, you won't get, you don't, uh, dots will not be connected. So, complete previous lecture first and then only start this lecture. And in this lecture, for example, in the last lecture, you will get a small friction about conservation of power. By this lecture, you will get the clarity. Okay, first of all, let us think of voltage. We know something about voltage now. now what is voltage? Joules per coulomb. Expended energy per coulomb of charge is nothing but voltage. For example, voltage is like this okay so for example element is there in the element voltage difference is v exactly for example compulsorily we have to provide plus minus symbols compulsorily independent of whether it is ac or dc or whatever it may be plus minus symbol should be comp compulsorily we have to keep because let us think of our previous okay so see here this is going to be my electric field and I kept my small test charge here small test charge here so some repulsion mechanical force will be there FR so applied force will be FA okay so for example for example if you are moving this charge in this direction if you are moving this charge in this direction you have to expend energy if you are moving in this direction energy will be delivered that's why means if you are moving from lower potential to higher potential we have to expend energy so plus minus is going to be v okay for example if you don't keep plus minus symbols what does it mean means you don't know the direction of energy transfer for example if you are moving from lower potential to higher potential a small contradiction will be there i'll tell you that also from for lower potential to higher potential energy should be expended from higher potential to lower potential energy should be dissipated so point here is you know forget about all forget about analysis of electrical systems first of all in order to know the direction of energy transfer for example if i give a some fan to you ceiling fan to you what you have to do you are supposed to connect the ceiling fan to the supply and you are supposed to supply electrical power okay for example i have given ceiling fan to you ceiling fan to you and in front of ceiling fan you are sitting expecting ceiling fan to generate electrical power how foolish it is okay so forget about ceiling fan first analysis of ceiling fan but we should know whether to supply electrical power to it or we have to take electrical power back from it so in order to know the direction of energy transfer in order to know the direction of energy transfer plus minus polarity should be kept now let us think of current for example if my current if my current is in this direction energy should be supplied if i have current in this direction energy should be delivered energy should be delivered so in order to know the direction of energy transfer compulsorily current direction should be specified okay so i am coming to power only i am coming to power only just wait okay for example let us think of okay for dc people feel for dc always it is dc no sir it is constant for example if this is voltage voltage with respect to time okay so voltage is constant so with respect to this always it is going to be positive only so we can keep plus minus polarities but for ac how can we do a what do you say plus minus polarities people feel no for ac also plus minus polarity should be kept because see here for example ac voltage source is there ac voltage source is there now see here okay forget about this okay this is ac voltage source about source definition very soon it will come just wait for example by this if i say this is x terminal this is y terminal and this is v for example now what i am saying i am not saying i repeat i am not saying x is at higher potential with respect to y no 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 i am not saying but what i am saying x is at higher potential of v with respect to y let me repeat x is not at higher potential with respect to y but x is at higher potential of v with respect to y now for example v equation v equation is 10 sin omega t okay for example get omega t equal to 0 what is v value 0 when omega t equal to 0 
For example, V value is going to be 5. V value is going to be 5 when omega t equal to 30 degrees. And V value equal to 10 when omega t equal to 90 degrees. Okay. And V value is going to be 0 when omega t equal to 0 degrees. Sorry, 180 degrees. Maybe V value is going to be minus 10 when it is 270 degrees. Just wait, just wait. Let us wait. Okay. So we need not rush into the things. We have much time. Okay. And we are learning the basic subject first and after that advance. And all will be connected to a single point. Just wait, just wait. Okay. So for example, X is at higher potential with respect to Y of V of V. For example, <coughs> if I say this is 0 volts. What does it mean? X is at higher potential of 0 volts with respect to Y. For example, this is gone. Now, when V equal to plus 5 volts. So, X is at higher potential of 5 volts with respect to Y. In this is 5 joules per coulomb. For example, if V is at 10, 90 degrees. Again, this will become, because this V is the variable, no? Instantaneously, it will change. So, that V value is 10 volts. What does it mean? X is at higher potential of <coughs> 10 volts with respect to Y. Now, let us think of this. What, is it, what does this mean? That V value is minus 10 volts. So, for example, for example, if my V is like this, if my V is like this, okay, so this is going to be 10 volts, this is going to be minus 10 volts. Now, closely observe, closely observe. For example, I have, okay, so at this instant, at this instant, how much is V value? 10 volts, okay. For example, at this instant, at this instant, how much is V value? Minus 10 volts. Okay. So minus, if I push inside, if I push inside, it is going to be plus minus 10 volts. Okay. So just, just think one thing. Minus 10 volts are plus 10 volts by interchanging plus minus polarity is same only. No? Okay. So see here, voltage rise of minus 10 volts is nothing but voltage drop of <coughs> 10 volts. Okay. So voltage rise minus 2 plus voltage rise of minus 10 volts equal to plus 2 minus voltage drop. Voltage drop of 10 volts same. So what is happening here? Come back to here. Come back to here. This particular V value will change. V value will change means that at 273 degrees V value is minus 10 volts means that again my X is at higher potential only with respect to Y of minus 10 volts getting my point right so always plus minus polarity should be kept should be kept for a voltage otherwise direction of energy transfer we don't come to know okay so means again conclusion is very simple for example if this is my voltage source V okay so by saying this for example this is AC signal okay for example this is a signal I am not saying this X is at higher potential with respect to Y but I am saying X is at higher potential of V with respect to Y that V value can be negative okay so when V value is negative X is at higher potential of negative value with respect to Y means that Y is at higher potential of X only so conclusion is very simple what is that for a voltage source plus minus polarity should be there similarly for a current also the same analysis no current also okay so current direction should be there voltage polarity should be there always always independent of AC or DC is the conclusion for everybody now coming back to power, coming back to power, previously we said that instantaneous power equal to instantaneous voltage into current. Which polarities of voltage, which direction of current, superb contradiction will come here, stay tuned, okay. So which, uh, which polarities of voltage, which direction of current. For example, normally we say, normally let me uh, draw it here again. So for example, this is voltage, this is current. Now we say power absorbed by the element, I repeat, power absorbed by the element. So power absorbed, power absorbed by this element, by this system is nothing but voltage multiplied by current. Okay, you will understand, just wait, voltage multiplied by current. What voltage, what current? Voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal. Okay, voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal is nothing but power absorbed. Power absorbed. Okay, now let us compare this with here. 
Okay, focus dear, focus, please, relax, relax, focus, see here, come here. For example, in this case, this is going to be big cube, this is going to be small test charge. Now, if you are moving from here to here, if you are moving from here, this is positive charge only, right? So if you are moving from here to here, you have to expend energy in moving from here to here, because the repulsion force is in this direction, in moving from here to here, the energy will be delivered. So if you keenly observe, keenly observe, when my positive charge is going from lower potential to higher potential, lower potential to higher potential, you have to expend energy, spend energy. And while moving from, <coughs> while moving from higher potential to lower potential, higher potential to lower potential, it will deliver energy. But if you think of here, if you think of here, when current is entering from positive to negative, okay? So when current is go going from positive to negative, Okay, so when current is flowing from positive to negative, energy will be delivered, no. But I am saying power is absorbed here. Energy, rate of energy is nothing but power only, no. So point here is beautiful contradiction here. See, if my current is moving from positive to negative, okay, power is absorbed here. If your current is moving from positive to negative, power is delivered here. <coughs> How will you mix these two? Getting my point, right? It's a contradiction. For example, if I take this as a mass, some stone, some stone, okay? So this is at ground floor. And if I spend energy, it will go to first floor. Now, if I take out energy like this, so from lower potential to higher potential, I have to spend energy. From higher potential to lower potential, it will deliver energy. From lower potential to higher potential, you have to spend energy. From higher potential to lower potential, it will deliver energy mapped. Gravitational field and static field, electric field is mapped. But point here is, for example, see here, this is a stone. This is a stone. This is at ground floor. So I expended energy, it went to first floor. And after that, I released this on top of your head. Getting my point, right? That stone from the first floor, I released it on top of your head. Then what will happen? Your head will break down. Okay. So why your head is broken? Because delivered energy by the stone is absorbed by your head. That's why your head is broken. Getting my point, right? Similarly, see here. It's a kind of stone charge carrier. Higher, lower potential to higher potential. Lower potential to higher potential. You have to expend energy. From higher potential to lower potential, it will deliver energy. Now, see, higher potential to lower potential. My charge carriers will deliver energy. That energy will be absorbed by the property. That's why power absorbed. Getting my point, right? So, what is power absorbed by element? Is nothing but power delivered by charge carriers. Okay? So, these charge carriers are delivering some power. And that delivered power by charge carriers has been absorbed by the property that's why power absorbed equal to voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal of the voltage okay so voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal of the voltage voltage multiplied by current entering into positive terminal of voltage will deliver power charge carriers so those charge carriers delivered power will be absorbed by my system so this is going to be power calculations power calculations in the next session we will in detail discuss about the basic elements or properties let us see a small problem very small problem which is not at all important for gate exam but in es descriptive they can ask it's a basic question people may feel it's so simple no no let us build everything from simple things only not a problem we have time the total charge accumulated by a certain device is given as a function of time by Q equal to 18 T square minus 2 into T to the power of 4 SI units. What total charge is accumulated up to 2 seconds? Means that if I have a wire for example, okay, and this wire is connected to some device, I don't know. Okay, the total charge accumulated by a certain device, by a certain device, and I'm sitting here. Okay, now this is going to be charge carriers which are flowing in this direction. What is the function of this? It is going to be 18 T square minus 2 into T to the power of 4. With that function, charge is moving. Now I am here and I am counting the charge. So what is the first question? What total charge is accumulated up to 2 seconds? Means that I am going to start from T equal to 0. Okay, ideally speaking, if I want to consider total charge cross me, cross me, I have to start calculating from minus infinity. 
minus infinite to 2 seconds. But at t equal to 0, what is the function value? At 18, 0 square 0. So at t equal to 0, total current is, so, sorry, total charge is 0. And before t, t equal to 0, what, what has happened? Did they give any information? No. No. So let us start from 0 only. Now, by 2 seconds, up to 2 seconds, for example, I started from t equal to 0. I keep on uh, see my watch such, such that till 2 seconds, how much is the charge transfer? So q equal to 18 t square minus 2 into t to the power of 4 between minus infinite to 2 seconds is nothing but 0 to 2 seconds. Let us calculate how much charge pass it through me. So this is going to be 18 t cube by 3 minus 2 into t to the power of 5 by 5 is 0 to 2. Okay. So apply to you will get total charge. So how much is the total charge I got? I got 35.2. Actually ideally I have to write coulomb but I don't want to write coulomb because these 35.2 coulombs per second is small one only but 35.2 coulombs is big number so i don't want to write the units now what is the maximum charge accumulated in the interval between 0 to 3 seconds and when does it occur so see here means one positive is there 18 t square minus 2 into t to the power of 4 minus 2 into t to the power of 4 so means one function is pushing charges in this direction another function is pushing charges in this direction and at, at starting maybe charges will flow in this direction because of negative more negative more at one point of time charges will go in this direction net equation net equation will become negative so how much is the maximum charge that can be stored here so for example charges are flowing like this and at one point it will become zero and it will start going in this direction means that charges are going to be reduced here accumulated charges are going to be reduced here so charges will be accumulated and once it becomes zero charges will be maximum once it is negated charges will flow in this direction means charge accumulation is going to be reduced okay so we have to find when dq by dt is zero positive zero negative so when it is becoming zero automatically maximum charge will be stored so dq by dt we have to find in order to find maxima or minima d2 by dq by dt should be equated to zero so 2 into 18 into t minus 4 into 2 into t cube should be equated to 0. Under that condition, you are going to get time of 2.12 seconds. So at 2.12 seconds, dq by dt is becoming 0. So we have to apply this in the equation. What q they have given? 18 t square minus 2 into t to the power of 4. Just keep t equal to 2.12 seconds. You will get the answer. So my answer is 40.5 coulombs. But I don't want to write coulombs. Now, what is the second question again? What is the maximum charge accumulated? That is 40.5. In the interval between 0 to 3 seconds, I got 2.12 seconds. And when does it occur at 2.12 seconds? Problem done. Now, what rate is the charge being accumulated at t equal to 0.8 seconds? At rate of charge is nothing but current. So he is asking at 0.8 seconds, what is the current value dq by dt? So dq by dt at t equal to 0.8 seconds is nothing but dq by dt. 2 into 18 into t minus 4 into 2 into t cube at t equal to 0.8 seconds okay so at t equal to 0.8 seconds calculate this is going to be how much i got 40.24.704 amperes dq by dt so that is the current value in this way we have to do